Hello everybody, I am Bishop Kakabaiden. This Christmas, I have a wonderful suggestion for you. The perfect Christmas gift. Three of my books, personally autographed by me, that you can send around the world to your loved ones and friends. It will be a blessing to you. I want you to just order this book and we'll deliver it worldwide to whoever you want to send a Christmas greeting to. My announcer will be coming with details of this wonderful offer. God bless you and have a lovely Christmas. Option 1. Buy all three books for a bundle deal of 75 CDs with delivery to any location in Ghana. International. Buy all three books for $30 with free standard delivery. Option 2. Buy any two books for a bundle deal of 55 CDs with delivery to any location in Ghana. International. Buy any two books for $20 with free standard delivery. Option 3. Buy one book for 35 CDs with delivery to any location in Ghana. International. Buy one book for $12 with free standard delivery. Place your order on Facebook by posting promo at the comment section or message window. International free delivery applies to locations within the UK, US, Canada, Europe, Asia, and South Africa. We wish you a very Christmas and a happy This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra has been sharing on a subject titled, Remembrance. Yesterday he taught that Satan uses problems to make us forget the word of God. Today, he reveals Satan's next strategy. Let's join him. Blessings can cause you to forget the words of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prosperity will test you more, more than poverty. Why do you think a lot of poor people go to church? Because it is a greater test when you are rich. Jesus said it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into heaven. Jesus said, Blessings, financial blessings, they even present a greater test than poverty. You see, when you're a pastor, you see so many people, and you see so many lives, and you see the progression. I've seen people get married. Maybe they didn't have anything. Then with the help of their wives, whatever, they work together, they become prosperous. They go forward they do well, they have money now, good husband. Before I realized, before my very eyes, they start changing. They change into something I cannot recognize. I knew a guy like that. He was unemployed. And when he was unemployed, he was a very nice husband. And even in his unemployment, the little man that he had, he was supporting his family, everything. He got a little job, he was doing well supporting his children, whatever. But the day he rose, he became MD of a company, any a lot of money. That was when he stopped paying school fees. That was when he moved out of his house and found himself a girlfriend. So sometimes, I see some people walking along a certain line. Pastor Brian, I say this one, I've seen it before. Same thing, I've seen it before. It's like a movie that's replaying itself. It's amazing. That sometimes when people have money, rather, it destroys them. They forget all my sermons, but when they are poor, they have a notebook. They remember everything. <laughs> Luke 15, 11. A certain man had two sons. Very dutiful, working on the farm, serious guy, serving the father, straight, honest, everything. Twelve, the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falleth unto me, and he valued unto them his living. Now he had inheritance, 50%. A lot of money. That's where the problem started. Not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. In other words, he disappeared. I had a friend like that. When he has money, you won't see him again. But when the money gets finished, you go to his house. He's sitting there. 
And at that point, when you begin to advise him, oh, he will listen. You advise him next time when the money comes, do this, invest, save. He says, oh, I agree with you. It's a very good thing. It's true. As for money, it can go away. It can do this. So that he will agree with you perfectly. Then another round of money will come. Ah! He's gone. You can't find him again. He's just disappeared. <laughs> but the Bible says, even in the day of prosperity, you must remember the word of God. Remember. He said, you must remember. Remember. It's the time that now you must remember. At home, remember it. At work, remember it. Why? Simple. Whatever blessing you think you have, there is something greater that God has for you. Make sure that the devil does not stop this chain reaction by, by stopping the first event, which is your ability to remember. Thanks for joining us. So far we've learned that we must not forget the word of God because it sets in motion the fulfillment of God's plans for us. Satan on the other hand uses our needs, problems and even prosperity to make us forget and thereby hinder the fruition of his plan. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Transformed after your air power conference. Dear Pastor, I am pleased to testify that my life has been positively affected by the air power conference you organized at Gozo. I used to masturbate a lot, but ever since you touched me that evening, I am a changed man. I haven't engaged in this act again, and I thank God for this liberation. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 20 7575 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.